In part A, first let's label what we've been given. So 40 pi watts is equal to PT, the total power supplied to the antenna. We know also the radiation efficiency is 98%, and S max is 200 watts per stair radians. Stair radians is the unit solid angle. To solve for the directivity, we need S max over S average. We already have S max, so we need to find S average. And we want S average in units of watts per stair radians also, so that the units will be consistent in the numerator and in the denominator. This S average is the average power density that's radiated out equally in all directions, radiated by an isotropic antenna, which doesn't exist in real life. So to find S average, we need to know how much power, total power, is radiated. Then we can divide that by the area of the sphere to find the power density. So first, the total power radiated is the efficiency times the total power supplied to the antenna. So that is 0.98 times the 40 pi, and that's in units of watts. So now we can find S average is P radiated over the area of a sphere and so now I'm going to have 40 pi times 0.98 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we want this in units of stair radians since we already said we want the numerator and the denominator units to be consistent. So in units of stair radians, the area of a sphere is 4 pi. So if we evaluate that, we get 9.8 watts per stair radians. Then the directivity is 200 watts per stair radians over 9.8 watts per stair radians, and that's 20.41. And if we wanted to put this into units of dBi relative to an isotropic antenna, we would take log 10 log base 10 of 20.41, and that is 13. 0.1 dBi. In part B, we want to find the gain, which is the efficiency times the directivity. So that's 0.98, as we know from part A, times 20.41. And so that's going to be 20. So this is the same gain that we would have calculated if we had taken a different approach where we take S max, or the direction of interest, by S average calculated using PT, the total power at the input terminals to the antenna. So this is S max over PT divided by 4 pi, and again, in order to keep the units the same as in the numerator. So here we'll get 200 watts per stair radian, same as for part A. And in the denominator, we get 40 pi, or PT, divided by 4 pi. And that's again watts per stair radians. So we're going to get a gain of 20 again here. And if we want to convert this to dBi, we can take 10 log base 10 of 20, and that gives us 13.01 dBi.